much. We're seeing uh, the coronavirus sort of shift from where it was just a few weeks ago. Obviously, the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, says we're starting to flattening the curve here in this in the sit in New York State. We're seeing some other hot spots start to arise, even close to the White House as well. So is this the right time to refocus the coronavirus task force at this particular time? So first, I want to say, so thanks for having me on. First, I want to say that it's a good thing that the coronavirus task force wasn't disbanded. So there was discussion about disbanding it. I think it's really good that the task force has been maintained because the White House is really unique in its ability to unify the country and unify our response. And we really need that right now. I do also think, though, that right now is the time to be focusing on the response in the country um, and working with governors and states who are trying to decide whether and how to relax social distancing measures. So I think that's really the first priority because the, ec the economic recovery here and the public health response are absolutely inextricably linked. We know that um, some parts of our country are opening up more quickly than others. And we know also that most states uh, in the United States um, are not actually seeing the declines in case counts over the last 14 days that are in the White House's own guidelines for relaxing social distancing. So we really do have a long way to go. And I think that's job number one for the task force is to put out some specific metrics that states and local officials can use uh, to determine uh, whether um, and when they can start um, doing more relaxing of social distancing. Yeah, and the thing that's so interesting in all this, Dr. Cameron, is the fact that the virus has gotten very close to the president. The fact that we've seen multiple aides test positive for it. Uh, we've seen Dr. Fauci now on a modified quarantine. We've seen the head of the CDC basically quarantine himself. Senator Lamar Alexander, who's the chairman of the committee that Dr. Fauci was going to be testifying in on Tuesday, is quarantining himself as well. So almost in a sense, do you feel like this contradicts the president's message of trying to reopen the country right now? Well, I think it definitely underscores the importance um, of the White House modeling uh, great behavior. So it's great um, that we're seeing uh, members of the coronavirus task force uh, putting themselves into quarantine. It also shows the importance of testing for essential personnel. White House workers are essential personnel and healthcare workers around the country are also essential personnel. We need, we know we need in order to be able to reopen the country um, safely and effectively. We know that we need testing on a regular basis for essential personnel, and we need to show that the positive number of tests in our country for everyone who's symptomatic and for all of their contacts, um, the re ratio of positive tests to total tests needs to be much, much lower than it currently is. Here in the district, that number is hovering at around 20 percent. It really needs to be closer to 3 percent. In fact, our organization working with Georgetown Center for Global Development and experts around the country are putting out some metrics this week on our website, covidlocal.org, which are intended to basically show um, state and local officials what kinds of metrics need to be uh, met. So first, um, great news that the coronavirus task force is modeling good behavior um, and, and quarantining. But second, We've got a long way to go to get to the point where the type of testing they have available in the White House is available for everyone else.